Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradigm Thrifts. If you are new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And today I'm sharing with you guys some trends that you should be looking out for while you are sourcing going into the fall and winter season. <laughs> bought a bulk box of inventory from my girl Mimi. Um, her username on Poshmark is Mimi underscore in 1988. Anyway, I bought a box of inventory from her to resell, but this little free people piece was in it and I tried it on. I, I know already, okay? You're not supposed to try on the inventory, but I tried on the inventory and I absolutely love it. It's just a little like tiered top and it's got like this open back detail and it is so cute. I wore it with shorts because it is a little bit short, but I wore it as a dress and I love it. It is so cute. I actually don't own a lot of free people. So um, I was surprised because I'm not super, I'm not really like a boho kind of girl, but I really like this piece. So if you guys want to check out her closet, check it out at Mimi underscore 1988. And now let's get into the video. So like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some fall slash winter fashion trends that you should keep your eye out for when you're sourcing and try to stock your closet with it because I know times are kind of confusing right now. I'm not sure if we're going to go back into a lockdown or what, but a lot of people are still out and about and they want to dress up because last year we didn't really have that opportunity to dress up. So they are looking for cute, affordable pieces and what better way to shop than through Poshmark, obviously. So you want to have your Poshmark closet prepped and ready. When we as resellers are prepping for fall winter, we are guided towards these same brands, same styles, and these are timeless. I feel like these are always going to be popular and that are things like boots, specifically like Doc Martens, Hunter boots, Sorrells, any kind of snow boots, and other like cold weather jackets like Patagonia's or things like that and of course I say still pick them up I'm definitely still going to be looking for those things while I'm outsourcing but I think having these extra things to kind of sprinkle in and include in my closet for fall will be fun and attract a different kind of audience as well so when it comes to fashion trends just note that things can change overnight if a celebrity is photographed wearing a certain piece or a certain you know brand the resale value of that can skyrocket skyrocket overnight and we saw that last year when Kendall Jenner was photographed in this brown North Face jacket. I know a few resellers who ended up thrifting things like that and being able to sell it for like $500 and up just because she was photographed wearing it. So definitely keep your eye out on celebrities, on fashionistas, follow influencers on Instagram and TikTok because ultimately they are the people who are leading all of these fashion trends and things that I'm sharing in this video might not be relevant in a couple weeks. So definitely do your own research as well. See what's popular in your realm of who you follow and try those pieces out as well. The first trend that I'm going to share with you guys, I feel like it was popular like a few years ago and then it wasn't cool anymore and now it is cool again, which is everything with fashion, right? But it is cutouts and with these kinds of cutouts, you don't want it to be super revealing. I feel like you just want it to be kind of a little bit more modest and more elegant. You can look for cutouts like this on sweaters, on um, tops, on dresses. I think like the cutouts on sides or like open backs on dresses are really nice. They do show some skin. They're a little sexy, but they're not over the top. But this is also a really easy trend to start incorporating into your own closet because like I said, it's not super out there. It can be very minimal and it is very tasteful. I really like it. So the second trend that I have for you guys is lots and lots of color. I'm not a color person. That came out wrong. I'm a colored person, but I'm not like, I don't wear color, if you know what I mean. I stick to a lot of blacks and whites and neutral tones. If anything, I'll do like a dark navy blue or like an earth green, which is why I feel like I like fall so much because, you know, that's just what I'm drawn to. But no, they're saying vibrant primary colors and pastel spring colors. One of the really popular colors that is going to be seen everywhere this fall and winter is actually blush pink. Just kind of like a neutral pink. 
and I think that's cool. I mean, for fall, you really don't see that. I feel like fall is really more, you know, the neutral earthy tones. So seeing these other bright colors during fall is going to be kind of exciting and something maybe to play with. And this is also really cool because you don't have to go out and buy other things. You can just pull from your spring clothes and your spring closet and try that out. When it comes to colors too, I've seen a lot of colored leather. So like colored leather pants, colored leather dresses, and accessories. So this is one of those trends that I think is a little bit more out there, at least for me, because like I said, I like to do more neutral things. Um, but yeah, bright colors in different textures is definitely on the market this fall winter. Trend number three I think is to be expected, and that is knits. Could be cable knits, long knits, oversized knits, knit sets, fair isle knit. There's just so many options, but I think some of the more popular ones are like the oversized chunky knit sweater vests. I feel like we saw this become popular a lot last winter, but it is back. It is in full force and can be styled really cute. Actually, I have a few myself that I will definitely be breaking out once it gets a little bit more uh, cool tempered. I think when it comes to knits, the chunkier, the more oversized, and the more detailed, the better. A brand that does knits really well, especially for winter, is Free People. Free People is one of my go-tos for knit cardigans, like chunky knits, especially with their Fair Isle, Fair Isle prints. Um, these are super on trend right now and I feel like you can find a lot of them and everybody loves free people so so this is probably one of the easiest things to source for you can always look in the sweater section and if you find those like vintage grandma sweaters or grandpa sweaters those are definitely going to be popular I feel like they always are so I don't think this is like a super crazy trend or anything here there are some fun ways that you can switch things up and make it a little bit different and I think some of these details on some of these knits are pretty cool Trend number four. Since we were all on lockdown last year, one of the fashion trends that was really popular was like matching sets. I feel like we saw a lot of like the sweat sets. A lot of people that I know were selling like tie-dye sets and things like that because we were all working from home. We were all at home not doing anything. But this year, since we are out, I mean, we'll see how long we're allowed out for. But since we are out now, people are drawn to my fourth trend and that is elevated matching sets. So these can be more put together pieces. Obviously people who are working like in offices or outside can't really wear coordinated sweatsuits or like loungewear sets outside so they're finding other ways to still keep that look but give that extra oomph you know so i've seen a lot of skirt sets being really popular, printed sets so loud very vibrant um, suit sets or even head to toe knit so these can be like knit pants and knit cardigans these I think are like on the same level as these matching sweatsuits but they're just like a little bit fancier right a little bit more appropriate to wear out of the house I love this I definitely will be in the market to find some things like this because it just looks so cozy and fun and when you have like a matching set it just makes you look so put together and just so good. I feel like thrifting is also a fun way to do these kinds of matching sets but make them match but like not match if you get what I mean. Like you can find two different things that might not be the same brand or the same style but they're the same color and you can just make them work together. I feel like that's a really fun way to try out this trend. Number five is something that's been here for like the past year and that is Y2K slash Gen Z fashion. If you guys are on TikTok, you've probably seen this, but I feel like one brand that does this extremely well is Brandy Melville, which is one of my favorite brands to wear. I know that it doesn't have that high of a resale rate, even though I did start out my reselling career really slanging Brandy Melville from Brandy Melville warehouse sales, but I like wearing it. I think it's cool. My style is kind of more like 90s-ish. It's funny because in the year 2000, I was like five years old, so I wasn't really wearing all of these things, but my sister was because she's like nine years older than me. So it's interesting to see all of these fashion trends come back because I do actually remember living through it. Another thing that I've noticed is a lot of people are finding these um, Gen Z trends on Amazon. So even if you find a piece at the thrift store and it doesn't have a brand on it or anything, I say pick it up still um, because if you use the right keywords and the right style tags, it'll still sell regardless if it has a brand or not. 
The sixth trend is quilted jackets and super super puffer jackets. When I saw that quilted jackets were getting popular, I thought about another reseller. Her name is Erin aka Oscillady. She has a YouTube channel and she she's also on Instagram but she makes these beautiful quilted jackets and you can check them out on her etsy shop but they are just absolutely gorgeous she makes them herself you can send her in one of your own quilts and she will create a jacket for you but i absolutely love her what she's been doing she's such a creative woman and i just love everything that she makes but yes Quilted jackets are gaining a lot of popularity. I think puffer jackets have always been super popular, but I think the puffier the better. We, I talked about the brown North Face jacket that Kendall Jenner was seen wearing last year. I feel like that's probably still going to be popular. If you guys find puffer jackets from Aritzia, from like the TNA brand, those sell really well. I have one. I haven't listed it yet because it does have a little mark on it, so I do have to get that fixed and then I will have it up, but honestly those have a pretty high retail rate because they I don't think they ever go on sale and they're really popular so if you find one of those definitely pick it up number seven is shine sparkles and glitter people have been saying that the 2020s are going to be the roaring 20s coming out of a pandemic everybody's super excited to get out and to go do things so you know we're gonna start spending money going out having fun it's gonna be the roaring 20s all over again but I really like this because sequins, glam, glitter, metallic shine things are coming back in style. One trend that I saw was actually metallic boots. So metallic knee-high boots, whether it's silver or gold or pewter or whatever, gunmetal. These will be seen a lot this fall winter and I love it. It's a great way to make a statement with a shoe if the rest of your outfit isn't super loud. Having your shoe just stand out makes your outfit so much more fun. Usually I pick up glitter and sparkles and stuff for the holidays because you know that's what people want to wear for christmas and new year's i feel like last year it didn't do super well because people weren't having parties they weren't doing anything this year hopefully it's going to be a little bit different and people are going to actually be going out and doing events so i'm going to stock up my closet with more of these holiday themed dresses number eight is a style that i recently learned about it's called gorp core and it's pretty much just wearable outdoor fashion so like camping hiking outdoor but make it fashion you know um so one of the trends i've been seeing is a lot of like lug sole boots and lug sole loafers which are like those really thick platform on shoes i love it i love that style i've actually been looking for a shoe with that on it i think it just adds kind of like a more masculine vibe to your outfit you could wear like a dress but with a lug sole heel on it and it just gives it that extra edge which i love and this brings me to my next trend which is platforms on shoes so this could be platforms on boots sneakers on sandals on heels and we're talking about like the chunky chunky platforms not really like the 80s style but i feel like more of that lug sole with the traction um on the bottom these are really popular i know that this is not everybody's cup of tea but i feel like when it comes to shoes you can demand a little bit more for them so if you do find more expensive brands that have these styles on them then by all means pick it up you don't have to like it yourself in order to sell it and make money off of it as long as somebody else likes it and is willing to pay for it that is what matters one brand to look out for that i think is really good at staying on top of trendy styles with shoes at least is jeffrey campbell and also steve madden these aren't super expensive brands but i feel like they do a really good job at staying on top of fashion trends and they'll probably go on sale so you could probably find them at places like nordstrom rack and marshall's and things like that number 10 is one of my favorite fashion trends and this has been popular for a while because I've, I've definitely worn this before and it is head-to-toe denim aka a Canadian tuxedo. Head-to-toe denim can be a little bit difficult because it either has to be like the exact same color denim or it has to be so different that it's evident that it's like two different pieces you know because if it's just like slightly off or a slightly different color it's gonna look a little bit weird so you either want to make sure that 
it's exactly the same wash or like a really light wash and a really dark wash or maybe like a black and a blue or a white or something like that just to kind of mix it up again with the style of jeans the more slouchy and straight leg fits are really in i think high rise is gonna stay in i don't care what anybody says i don't think low rise is really gonna make a comeback um i feel like too many people are against it to really make it have its um moment in the spotlight again but i personally have been still picking up like skinny jeans i still wear skinny jeans i feel like those are a really timeless style when it comes to tops, denim button downs are really going to be popular and with these, I have to say this because I just have to. Make sure that it's like a straight fit, kind of like a unisex style. I hate that like tapered where it's like, you know, cut in on the bottom and the waist is... I just, I, I personally hate that. I just love it when it's just a straight silhouette, um, an oversized fit maybe, but definitely not like the form-fitting denim tops. I really it's a it's a no from me but for outerwear cropped denim jackets i feel like that the oversized levi's denim trucker jacket is just a timeless piece um so definitely pick those up if you can find them i've consistently sold vintage trucker jackets and i just i love the way that they fit i have some that i will be keeping for myself forever um some passed on from my mom so yeah if you find like a really good denim jacket just pick it up see how it goes the last trend that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is fringe and this is fringe on purses on dresses on jackets any of this like dangly over the top fringe is really popular i feel like it's a great way to elevate your outfit without trying super hard you could just add like a really fringed accessory i feel like steve madden used to have like these really cute um clutches with like extra long fringe on them i don't know if they still have them but um you could probably find something similar to that if you find any like fringe jackets like leather jackets at the thrift store definitely pick it up those are super hot right now uh when i was doing my research on this video one of the women who was like sharing these trends she was talking about fringe but she warned not to wear fringe with cowboy boots because you might end up looking like a cowboy and she was like unless that's what you want then by all means go ahead and i feel like that just makes it's such a look to have fringe and cowboy boots. I know cowboy boots are also super popular, um, but I just thought that was funny. That is it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful. I really like looking up like different fashion trends. I know some people aren't really into that. You don't have to be into fashion to be a reseller. You just have to know what sells. So I hope that this helped you guys figure out what to look out for while you're sourcing for fall and winter. If you guys have any other trends that you think are gonna be popular, Definitely leave them down below and share them with the class. That's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.